GC here, and we're back with a movie review. No escape. Directed by John Urich Daldo, who brought us Quarantine, and as above, as below, we have No Escape, starring Owen Wilson, Pierce Bronson, and Lake Bell. So what's this movie about? Well, basically, it's about Owen Wilson and his family moving to Southeast Asia for a job. And then something happens, and then they realize that the city is in upheaval about this foreign sort of takeover, and they're like, we are not happy about this, and they have this civil unrest, and they start killing foreigners and all that stuff, and Owen Wilson and his family has to like, holy crap, we gotta escape to survive. And then Pierce Bronson is somehow connected in some of this stuff. So what did I think? Well, first off, as a family unit, I really bought it. In terms of the chemistry between Owen Wilson and Lake Bell and the kids, the kids were amazing and just really fun. And it, it brought another level of thrill to it. Because, I mean, you have two adults running around and it's like they can be superhuman and survive all these bullets and jumps and all that stuff. But when you have two kids and you have to lug them around and like, come on, child, it's kind of like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And plus, I didn't know who directed this, so I was like, maybe they were going to pull off an indie thing and kill off the kids or something. So there was all that extra tension. It's like, could they really die? Because a lot of people actually died in this film, as in, like, there's a lot of cannon fodder, and it's just like, whoa, these guys mean business, and when they get caught, it's just like, oh my goodness, are they going to survive or not? So there's that. And then, I mean, I was interested in this film because Owen Wilson, for me, I, I seen him in Rush Hour and all that stuff. That's classic Owen Wilson. And then recently, I haven't really seen anything that I actually liked. I totally skipped out on the internship because I don't really like Vince Vaughn. So that was gone. And there hasn't been any, like, Owen Wilson main lead film since then. And now we got it. And plus, we got James Bond with us. So that's always nice. So speaking of James Bond, Pierce Bronson plays this dude that just shows up and helps them out. And I would say his screen time is disappointing in a sense where they tack him on the poster and he's only probably in there for not that long but when he's used he's used well and how they treated his character was pretty great so there's all that there's like the tension the owen wilson pierce bronson family chemistry great stuff the tension was really high because of the kids so what was wrong with this film well basically there's a lot of seeds planted for subplot throughout the film that isn't really addressed like we have this Un like, I don't know, it's uncomfortable sort of tension between Owen Wilson and Lake Bell. And she's pissed off that they moved to this southeastern Asian country. And there's this, like, scene where she's crying in the bathroom and then things happen. And it's like, whoa, let's just put that under the rug and just leave it at that. And I feel that, sure, this, the, the movie is pretty simple. They have to escape. But I feel that if they had more of a development into their problems, more conflict, I think that would have been a much more realistic film or add the realism into this film. And also, another thing is that they are foreigners in a Southeast Asian country in a hotel with other foreigners. But for some reason, they're the only family that stars in this film. And I feel like, yes, there are cannon fodder, but there's not enough red shirts for me to care when people die. So I feel like if they tacked on another family or some random dude that like has development character wise, it would be probably be better in terms of just the realism. Cause this movie slowly becomes into like, they're not gonna die. Because they're superhumans and if they die there's no movie and I feel that throughout the film so if I felt that the risk was super high that would have been like so much more tension I mean this movie is filled with a lot of tension to begin with but I feel that if that was there it been like edge of your seat tension because I mean I was sort of on the edge of my seat in one sequence but my buddy saw it and he's like I couldn't take that seriously because it was just stupid but for me I bought the tension so, I feel that it really depends on what you're looking for in this film. In terms of just cinematography, it is a rather bland cinematography-wise. I mean, the sets are pretty much the same. And when you really look back what the director directed, I mean, Quarantine and As Above and As Below. I don't know about below, Above and Below, but Quarantine is another low-budget sort of like stuck-in-a-apartment thing. And this thing has a higher budget 
to have all the scenery and all that stuff but i feel that he still was limited to just alleyways and hotel rooms and just fake sets so there's that so if you are looking for intense action that's not here for sure but basically i would say this is a solid if you had nothing to do kind of film to watch i mean owen wilson being a leading man was fine Pierce Bronson was fine, family was fine, the tension was there, but just little bits of pieces that could have made the movie much more enjoyable. And when you have just little things that don't really jar with the entire film, it's a if you have nothing else to do kind of film to watch. So that's my recommendation right there in terms of that context. But anyway, that's pretty much it. If you have seen No Escape, leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that is it for this movie review for No Escape. Out!